Hi guys, and I apologize I haven't made a video in a long while. Um, I'm generally, generally busy with my schoolwork and stuff. And of course, I'd like to thank you all my 22 subscribers who have subscribed to me. And of course, uh, they must be waiting. You all, you guys must be waiting for new video uploads, which I will, c I'm kindly doing. I'd like to thank you all of you. And in this video, I'm just going to be talking about a, f a very useful one, my favorite all-time, my all-time favorite Firefox add-on, which is called NoScript. You might have heard of this, and yeah, it generally blocks um, unwanted scripts from um, websites. So, if, for example, if you don't have any um, restrictions in um, scripts, that if you um, accidentally jump onto websites such as this one, ubuntuforums.tk, you'll notice that it's really it's a great idea actually to have, as you can see, to have um, s some script restrictions. Otherwise, you know your window will be just uh, you know so rick rolling, and you get a bunch of things here. Uh, which you can't really avoid. So, th what you have to do is to can't um, to kill the tags manually. With that, which kills the process. Now, with no script, after installation, it blocks scripts like these. This, as you can see, scripts. All the scripts such as Flash and JavaScript is has been blocked automatically, and you can can configure this from the menu here go to princess and as you can see plugins it forbids all these little annoying um, software so these little things not only are annoying they slow down your browsing speed for if you get a website full of um, JavaScript full of flash plugins like this it will of course slow your browsing speed and sometimes crash your browser because you know things like these are unnecessary and slow they're really slow whoops and as you can see where if you sc uh sorry right and um, if you sc you look at the corner of your um, browser window you can see this little s button here which you can configure things you can um, revoke. Um, you can you can allow script scope globally, which means do not block anything. You can temporarily allow this page for this session, so allow everything in this page, or and you can uh, allow this page permanently. And these are the the only um, this uh, this this section session section here are the only necessary and the only important things you have to mess about S so if I um, allow this all this thing temporarily you will load reload the website with all the flash plugins of course and so if you revoke the temporary um, permissions going here it will start blocking again this for this session yes and of course if you just want to um, show individual things you can just click that and then you ask for confirmation which you just click OK which is very 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 easy to do and very very yeah very useful so to avoid getting to um, random websites with with a, a, t a bunch of sc um, annoying scripts you just install no scripts which is very easy and you can by clicking here go to options you get a bunch of um, customization where you set to show message about block scripts and stuff which is very very easy very customizable and all that so yeah thank you for watching my video Please comment, rate and subscribe. More videos will come soon. Thanks again.